stop it. Dude, Dallas runs eight, nine, ten, twelve play drives. They chew up eight, nine minutes of the clock. And God forbid they do that and you get a three and out because then they'll just do it again and then your defense is fucked. Well, see, this is the thing. The Redskins don't get three and out. They're leading the league right now in the lack of three and outs. I don't know what you'd call that statistic, but you know there's a stat for everything. But three and out, one, two, three, punt. The Redskins do it least amount of anybody. Mm -hmm. So, And they do. They go on good long marches, man. You look at that Bengals game. They just didn't finish with a touchdown on the first quarter, but they kept the ball for nine minutes. They had the ball in the first half for something like shit, like 18 minutes of the first half. So they are, they're quite capable of doing something like that. Right. It's going to be a matter of, it's a matter of making Elliot, you gotta, you gotta stop Elliot. Take his goddamn cereal away from him. Well, you just don't have the D to stop Elliot, man. Well, you know, yeah, that's true. Uh, the one thing else that scares the shit out of me is Dante Whitner fucking stinks out loud. And I mean stinks out loud. <laughs> he stinks so bad it comes off of him in sound waves. And Jason Witten is going to just sit down at eight yards and eight <laughs> yards and eight yards. Not only has Dallas won nine games in a row, but what has impressed me, and I didn't even realize it, is they've they've re- they've uh, put up over 400 yards of offense eight weeks in a row. Eight weeks in a row, and that included over 400 yards against the number one defense in the league last week. Okay, you, I, when you when I asked you the other day what the Redskins' offense had to do to show you, you said beat the number one defense, and I was like, they did. I know <laughs> they did. <laughs> the Redskins haven't lost a game. In, a, in like their last six games, they had a tie in there, but they haven't lost one in a good long time. Aren't they 6-3-1? So, and This one? will be interesting to see. Yeah, Frankly, they're... it's not the Cowboys, to me, that makes it a must-win. I mean, everybody's like, oh, it's the Cowboys, got to must-win, must-win. The Cowboys are beyond catching. If you guys fall apart and lose this division, it's a monumental collapse. To right. me, the big the thing is that it makes it must-win is that the Giants play the fucking Browns, and they might as well just stay home and right. chalk it up. That's a win. Yeah, I, I don't expect to... Uh... To gain any ground on the Giants. I mean, I, I, that's, right. that's going to be a Giants victory. If Cleveland was ever going to win a game this year, God, please let it be this week. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> now, hey, the Redskins are capable of winning this game tomorrow. So don't go, you know, counting your chickens. However, Philadelphia has turned out to be who we thought they were. I thank God. That's the, yeah, yeah. They, they're exactly who we thought, we thought they were going to be. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's you know, good. dude, Dallas, man, that it's, and again, I, I give all credit to the offensive line. It yeah. just wears defenses down. Things may be tight in the first half, but in the second half, man, you, you mm-hmm. look at every single defense they played in the second half. There they were with their hands on their hips, huffing and puffing, dude. They just kept knocking them on their ass over and over. And that's when they start getting those back to back long time consuming drives. Do you, yeah, I mean, I, I understand that completely. The good thing about it is that we got a quarterback that can come in and put it up quick. We got some wide receivers. That is for damn sure. That's for sure. Now the other night they the other night they did relatively score quick, but because why not? The Packers are they're putting third string safeties out at cornerback. They can't catch Pierre Garcon. They're not gonna they're not gonna touch Deshaun Jackson. They're just not. So you, you can't help it but score forty two against them sorry bastards. Well, for the third time this year, I heard another guy say it, and it was Joe Flacco. He said, Man, they just scored every time they got the ball. <laughs> well, we're not going to say that tomorrow. No? No, I'm hoping not. Hell no, man. Hell no. This is going to be one of those games where I, like, I think you're right. Whoever gets the most three, uh, most punts, whoever receives the most punts, has the best chance of winning the game. Uh, I just don't think you're going to be able to keep up with them. We'll find out. We will find out. Yes, we will. Die! Die, Redskins! Die! Fuck those Cowboys. Honestly, you, 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 you white people have screwed up the whole goddamn country. Well, <laughs> All right. You are gay. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. If I had a chance to sit down with them over a poutine, I think we'd all be like lovely people together. <laughs> when I was eating that, I looked at my wife and I said, you realize I'm eating a poutine. And you know her. She doesn't get any of these jokes for the show, but she remembered that one. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Right. No, of course not. <laughs> Absolutely not. And the dude that, that came jumping over all the tourists, and I caught him. I mean, the dude came right on top of me. I caught him. He wrapped his arms around me and his legs around me, and the next thing I know, he had my hand. He's practiced at this, and we're, like, dancing. He didn't expect I was going to spin him around. As soon as I realized what he was doing, I spun him around and dipped him. And he, as soon as I started to dip him, man, I felt him tighten up. Shit, don't drop me. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. 
I will say this too, and this is going to sound extremely racist, but I was in Koreatown, so there's tons of Koreans around, and I believe there's only 14 Korean women, and they just keep walking by and turning around and walking back. <laughs> kept saying to my wife look there goes number three there's number seven oh, there's number nine man. and uh, you know what that doesn't sound racist because they do all go to plastic surgeons to try to look the same jeez that's the facts all yeah. right well have a great thanksgiving i will except for one except for one thing well now i'm gonna have a great thanksgiving that's right, right. i'm gonna have a great thanksgiving because the redskins are going to do some run stuffing <laughs> see that there what i just oh, did oh are they really oh, yeah that's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Next week, I'm going to get back to drinking during the show. Because last week was so much fun. You better get the Redskins defense out of there this week. <laughs> oh, yeah. I already did. All right. Well, everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Mm hmm. Happy Thanksgiving. And go Browns. Go Browns. Win a game. Go Browns. If you don't win this one, then I hope you lose them all. Go Browns. Go Browns. And uh, let's see. Who was the other one I wanted to have say go? Uh, go Saints. Jeff Fisher, three games to go, and he's the all time. Right. Yeah, that's right. He's on. That's he's, right. He three can, to go. He can hit it this year. <laughs> no. He's got the Saints, Patriots, Falcons, and Seahawks. He's going to get it before Christmas. All right. We'll do it again <laughs> next time. Later. Listening to the Bang Cartoon Radio Hour. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're not a loser because you dress up in shoulder pads with spikes on them. You're a loser because you like the Raiders. Bang Cartoon Radio. Let me inhale it all in one more time. Yes, ma'am, still, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, still, yes, sir. Pull your pants up around your waist. I don't care if I'm the mom or not. Yeah, they still have Tom Brady, and they're still coached by Bill Belichick. The last time I cried over football is when Tom Brady got hurt, and those were tears of joy. <laughs> your coach is a cheater, your rings are a lie, you back up from Michigan. We care about the small people. So long, you fetus-faced windbag. Bang, cartoon.